What's up, Collective? It's Kev, Intuitive Kev, and I'm back to do another random general message for the Collective. Hopefully everyone's doing well, feeling blessed and highly favored. Spirit, we ask that you continue to guide us and protect us. We ask that you give us insight and guidance on our current situations. We ask that you lift the veil of falseness and reveal that which is hidden from us. And we thank you for your blessing, your wisdom, your power, and your work in our lives. Thank you, Spirit. So we're going to get into the cards. Uh, I'm going to do the Celtic Cross today. Um, just so we can get some detail, um, you know, just to see, um, you know, anything we don't see coming, any updates or progress on our current situations, anything spirit might want us to know at this time. Uh, I'm using the Panther Oracle. I'm going to use my decks and I'm going to get, get you guys an Oracle as well. Uh, we'll start with the tarot. I have pre-shuffled these decks. Let's get into it. Uh, present moment, nine of wands reverse, ten of swords. So, present moment, you know, there's somebody that is like, this feels like a defeat. This feels like a really big defeat. Um, you know, ten of swords talks about, you know, this could be a physical ending, but this is like a painful, permanent ending you know, to someone or something. Um, nine of Wands reverse, you know, this talks about an, an, a lack of perseverance, a lack of resilience. You know, somebody is not able to push through. You know, in the upright, you're pushing through obstacles. You know, you're you're jumping over hurdles. Um, in reverse, you know, somebody's they can't push through. Um, this could be something ending for somebody. I get, uh, just a really big end. It feels like a really big ending. Uh, the immediate challenge. Eight of swords reverse. Three of pentacles reverse. So I feel like the challenge is, you know, somebody, somebody escaped. There was like something here that maybe was, you know, meant to trap someone. Eight of swords. Either have them in jail, have them in their head, have them, you know, um maybe just down and out um this came out reversed so i mean somebody is not trapped maybe somebody got free of something uh somebody recovered from something somebody escaped <laughs> um so a collaboration did not work out you know there was a collaboration three or more people you know working together with a common goal you know somebody i feel like somebody got free or you know uh, freed themselves and um the collaboration failed. Um, the distant past. Twin flame. And wheel of fortune reverse. So in the distant past, you know, uh, we have twin flame in the upright. This could have been your twin flame. Uh, maybe in the distant past... A twin flame, you know, was experiencing bad luck, bad fortune, bad karma. Um, I mean, this could have been you, you know, maybe in the distant past, you had some difficulty, you know, um, had some mishaps, you know, some things happen um, in the recent past. Six of swords reverse. And the magician. So in the recent past, I feel like, you know, there's been somebody that's been maybe trying to manifest. Like they've been trying to manifest, you know, their their most desired outcome, maybe. And I get like, I feel like it's not working because this person is still stuck. There's something that they're stuck in. They can't move on from. Uh, maybe they're refusing to move on from. Uh, the magician's in the upright. So, I mean, I feel like somebody's trying to make they, the recent past. Someone was trying to manifest. Maybe trying to manifest keeping somebody else stuck or trying to manifest, you know, getting, moving on, moving forward. Uh, best outcome. Or this could be the what, the subconscious as well. Uh, nine of Cups reverse. And Nine of Swords. Nine, nine. Um, it's not looking, you know, it's just, it's really, <laughs> it's not looking too good, you know. Um... You know, somebody's not getting what they want. 
you know, somebody's not going to get with it. They're not going to get wish fulfillment. Uh, maybe because this person was selfish, you know, uh, only concerned with their own personal wants and needs. Uh, Nine of Swords talks about a nightmare, you know, or sleepless nights, anxiety, depression, worry, fear, doubt, stress. You know, somebody being really stressed out. I feel like somebody's not going to get what they want and they're going to be really stressed out about it. The uh, immediate future. Empress reverse. And hater reverse. So the Empress reverse, this is, you know, uh, you know, that false Empress. This could be, you know, your, doppel your doppelganger, your copycat. Uh, it's a karmic feminine energy, uh, Taurus energy. Um, you know, this is like, this is somebody that, you know, they're not fruitful. Like they don't, you know, the Empress, you know, anything or per anything or a person that this, the, the Empress puts their energy into, it flourishes, it prospers, you know, it's successful. Um, in reverse, you know, this is somebody that instead of like, you know, having things flourish and prosper, this has, you know, things wither and die, you know, things, you know, become stagnant, they fail. Um, I get like a destructive energy just off of that. Um, hater in reverse, you know, uh, this could be, you know, somebody coming out of hater energy, you know, a spiritual hater, a happiness hater. I don't get that. I feel like this energy here is going to be immediate future. They're going to be a really big hater, like a huge hater, even more of a hater than they, they may have already been. Uh, maybe hating on somebody's fulfillment, you know, somebody's emotional fulfillment, somebody's happiness, somebody's family unit. Yeah. Uh, factors affecting the situation. Death in reverse. And the moon. Uh, factors affecting this is that, you know, uh, somebody was refusing a permanent ending. Somebody could have refused uh, a transformation. Somebody didn't want to change. You know, they wanted things to stay the same. Somebody that refused a rebirth. Or something didn't end, you know. Death is when, you know, something ending. This is the ending in reverse. You know, something didn't end. Uh, the moon, this talks about secrets. Uh, things hidden. Intuition. Dreams. Uh, things done in the dark. You know, there could have been, you know, something done. There could be a lot of secrets, you know, um, and maybe people wanted to keep these secrets. You know, they didn't want to change. They didn't want anything to change. Um, the sun in reverse and the moon, that's like the same thing. I feel like, you know, there's a lot of secrets. There's a lot of stuff hidden still. There's a lot of things hidden and somebody doesn't want anything to change. They wanted it to stay the same. Uh, hopes and fears. Four of Swords reverse. And four of wands, four, four. Um, I feel like somebody is hopeful. This could go either way. Somebody could be hopeful or fearful that, you know, someone else is in bad health. Someone else isn't getting any rest. They can't heal. Um, or someone could be, you know, yeah, this could, this, this could go either way. They could be hopeful that somebody's sick or they could be, you know, fearful that somebody's sick. Um, four of Wands, I feel like somebody is hopeful, you know, that maybe they can get a union, maybe they can get stability, security, um, maybe a Twin Flame, you know, Four of Wands is 11-11 as well. Uh, final outcome. Social Media Reverse and the Hierophant Reverse. So I don't know if this is like a divorce or if this is the end of a contract of some sort. Um, I feel like something's happening privately. You know, social media in reverse, this is like, you know, something that's, you know, not visible to the public, you know, something low key, something private. And the Hierophant, like I say, this could be a, the end of a marriage, the end of a contract. This could be a corrupt religious person. Um, more Taurus energy. Um, yeah, this could be somebody could be privately or secretly ending a commitment or a high level 
uh, commitment, a marriage, a contract of some sort. Maybe because there was no equal give and take. More Taurus energy. We got like heavy Taurus out here. Um, there was no equal give and take, you know? Maybe somebody only took from a situation. They didn't give to it. They didn't contribute. Uh, this could be something coming to an end. And I feel like it's, you know, a private ending. Like they don't want people to know maybe. Uh, this next pass, I'm going to use the Kipper Ish. All right. Present moment. Concern reverse. Closet witch. So there could be, you know, someone that secretly, you know, does manipulation, secretly does spell work or magic. This person is either, either they're not concerned with something or they're super concerned. I feel like they're super concerned with something. You know, these energies are always, always super concerned with something that, you know, more than likely is none of their business. Um, this person could be like real, really, you know, very concerned about something, worried about something. Um... Maybe if this if this collaboration that they were in didn't work and somebody escaped or somebody broke free, yeah, they're probably super concerned. Like, what do we do now? What do, what do I do? Like, um, the immediate challenge. Nice guy reverse. And actual money. Um, the immediate challenge has something to do with a King of Cups reverse energy. Masculine energy can be a man or a woman. This is somebody either emotionally closed off, emotionally unavailable, or emotionally unstable, uh, or all three. And uh, this has something to do with like actual money. I wanted to make a card, you know, um, that talks about like, you know, we have pinnacles, but pinnacles don't always relate to money. This card right here represents actual, like real money. Like this is dollar bills, you know, like literally it's money. So there's something to do with some money. The money's in the upright. So I don't know if this, you know, nice guy reverse is getting some type of money or, and that's a challenge for a closet witch, or maybe somebody else is getting, you know, a windfall or some type of money. I don't know. This could have something to do with the third party. Uh, distant past meditation and con confusion illusion so in the distant past you know there was a there was a lack of clarity I feel like somebody was you know definitely confused maybe under an illusion not seeing things clearly uh, maybe not understanding not even knowing why you know the wheel was reversed they were at the bottom of the wheel um, somebody could have done some med uh, meditation, you know, uh, getting grounded, centering, you know, tapping in. Um, like I said, this could have been your twin flame. Somebody's twin flame, you know, did some meditation. They were confused. Um, maybe confused. I really do feel like somebody was like super confused as to why they were like having so many, you know, mishaps, so, so much mis misfortune. Um, Somebody could have been under an illusion, you know, maybe it was a spell. Maybe this closet witch did some type of work on somebody, had them, you know, very confused. Um, recent past. High honor reverse. And rising star reverse. This is all bad. So I don't know if in the recent past there was somebody trying to, there was somebody trying to manifest a bunch of bad, maybe for somebody else. Maybe they wanted to manifest somebody not moving forward. They wanted somebody to be stuck in rough waters. They wanted somebody to be, you know, less than honorable, dishonorable. They wanted somebody, maybe somebody, you know, who was on the up and up, you know, um, having a time of joy and success, you know, accomplishing some things. Um, they could have wanted this person to, you know, have an experience of fall from grace. You know, collective, a lot of you had people that were, they, for whatever reason, they just did not want to see you shine. They didn't want you to do well. You know, they didn't want you to, to succeed. Um, you know, 
could have wished bad on you, could have wished, you know, that you, you know, experienced a fall in the recent past. Uh, best outcome or subconscious, which I don't know. Uh, Jezebel reverse and blocked. So I feel like, you know, uh, somebody's not going to get whoever this is in Jezebel energy. They're not going to get what they want. They're not going to get, you know, the, whatever they were wishing for. Uh, this person's, you know, can, I mean, more than likely going to be stressed out and maybe blocked in some way, shape or form. Blocked energetically, uh, blocked, you know, context. I don't know. Or somebody could be blocking a Jezebel energy, releasing a Jezebel energy. Uh, the immediate future. Divination. Imprisonment reverse. So the immediate future, somebody could be getting a reading or doing some type of divination, some form of divination. Uh, maybe seeking clarity, seeking answers, wanting to know, you know, what's going to happen. Um, imprisonment reverse. Somebody could be getting readings to see if maybe they are imprisonment reverse. You know, this is somebody not being trapped or not being, you know, not going to jail. Somebody could get a reading that, you know, uh, maybe someone gets a reading and in this reading it's revealed that, you know, somebody is not trapped in something. Somebody's not facing imprisonment. Somebody's not trapped. Um, I feel like this person, whoever this is, probably this, this Empress reverse, uh, this person could be like mentally unstable. They could really be suffering like some mental instability. Um, yeah. And I feel like that's like super hater. Like this is somebody that carries like a lot of hatred, a lot of like negative energy. Um, maybe this is talking about a reader, you know, there's a reader. Somebody that does divination that is uh, not trapped, you know? Um, factors affecting the situation. Earth Angel Reverse. And Achievement Reverse. So I feel like, you know, there was, you know, like this is, you know, the same energy. I feel like, you know, for a lot of these energies, the goal was to you know, knock somebody off of like their square, like to really like mess up the trajectory of somebody's like life, you know, to throw somebody off of their path. Um, in some cases it was an earth angel. A lot of you are earth angels. Um, I feel like the goal was to, you know, turn you upside down, have you in karmic energy, have you lose faith, have you lose hope to really break you down, have you in a bad space. And for most of you, even if you were, in this energy reversed, you know, you are coming out of it or you've come out of it. Um, and they didn't achievement reverse. If their goal was to, you know, reverse a earth, a earth angel, you know, have this person distorted, um, they didn't succeed. Like this was a, this was a L this was a loss. Just like we saw like that three of pentacles reverse, like whatever they were trying to do, it didn't, it did not work. Um, hopes and fears. Yeah, they couldn't trap somebody. I get that heavy energy of like somebody not being trapped. Incrimination in reverse, imprisonment in reverse. Uh, there was another one too. Talking about somebody like breaking free. Yeah, like they could not trap somebody. Couldn't turn somebody upside down. Like it just wasn't, you know, um, hopes and fears. Starseed. And love spell. <laughs> <laughs> somebody's hoping that <laughs> collective there's somebody hopeful that they their love spell is going to work on you uh you could be a star seed you know chosen one uh you know the collective could be indigo you know what's up fam <laughs> yeah you could be like you know a child of the cosmos you know you've been here before you've incarnated before you know this ain't your first rodeo um you know, you were sitting here with a, a, a really big purpose. You know, um, you got some things to do. Somebody's trying to trap you. Like, you know, somebody's doing, and this is in the upright. So somebody is like hopeful that like something they're about to do or something that they've done recently is like going to work. This love spell. 
Like, ooh, I sure, I sure hope I can trap the collective with this love spell. Like, uh, no, it's not gonna work. <laughs> it's not gonna work. <laughs> um, final outcome. Unbothered. Period. Like, it's not gonna work. Like, <laughs> unbothered. <laughs> Man, mentally unstable. I feel like, you know, this is collective energy, you know. It's a lot of stuff going on. It's a lot of stuff that's been going on. For many of you, you know, you've been, you know, if you're like on the same timeline as me, you've kind of been through it. You've kind of, you've learned a lot, you know, in the last year, two years, three years, whatever. And uh, this stuff just isn't phasing you the same way. You know what I'm saying? It's, it was different when it was new. It's like, oh my God, you know, what's happening? What's going on? Uh, nowadays, you know, a lot of you are <laughs> unbothered, like, you know. Like, oh, we still on this? We still at it? Oh, okay. You know, and I feel like you being unbothered is really triggering somebody. Or this is final outcome. So you being unbothered is going to trigger somebody. Somebody's going crazy. Like, why is my magic not working? It worked on everybody else. Why is it not working on it? You know, they're going crazy. Losing their mind. Because you're still, you're unbothered. I mean, goodness. This person ain't stupid. I don't know. I mean, like, seriously, find your, find a new victim. Stop coming for God's chosen. God's anointed. Stop coming for the collective. It's just, I mean, it just has low IQ all over it. Then we have abundance at the bottom. Somebody got some money coming. We had actual money come out, too. Somebody got some money, some loot coming. I don't know. Let me know. Um, let me know. <laughs> uh, this next pass, I'm going to go uh, use the, the, the panther present moment fate see uh, same energy present moment somebody could be getting a reading right now so maybe that immediate future <laughs> they could be getting a reading right now present moment uh coincidence fatalism fortune telling uh reservation reverse desire worth extravagance reverse somebody could be getting a reading that maybe they're about to lose something you know something that they wanted you know you see this guy he's like hugging this car and he's got the little heart like he's in love like you know with this material possession i feel like somebody could be losing something extravagant you know a uh, desire of theirs or maybe they got a reading somebody could be getting a reading and it's saying that you know they might be losing something something worth you know, something worth uh, worthwhile to them, something extravagant, something they desire. Uh, the immediate challenge, introvert, reverse. Privacy, separate online community, reverse. And coach, advice, obedience, knowledge. So I feel like, you know, the immediate challenge is that I don't know if this is like pertaining to an energy, you know, it's just challenging that maybe someone is an extrovert, you know, maybe someone's outgoing, you know, uh, they can't be caged. They can't be, you know, stopped. Maybe somebody is, uh, either getting advice from a coach of some sort or somebody's, you know, really knowledgeable. That's why I say collective. A lot of you have learned. I mean, this has been, all of this has been to, uh, teach you and to strengthen you. You know, everything that you've gone through has been either to teach you or to strengthen you. Um, and maybe that's like the, you know, a, a challenge for somebody. Now you're knowledgeable, you know, like, you know, things, you know, you're not like still green. You're not still, you know, naive as you used to be, maybe. And maybe some of you are, are out of hermit mode. You know, you're uh, extroverted now. Um, you could have the support of an online community. Um, I don't know. Uh, distant past. Self-love reverse. And marionette reverse. So in the distant past, you know, there was somebody who was having like some issues with self-confidence. Um, you know, this card talks about self-concern, self-healing, and independence. So there was somebody that was, you know, super codependent in the distant past. This could have been your twin flame. Uh... You know, either they were codependent or they were dealing with somebody codependent. Uh, they didn't, maybe they didn't have a lot of confidence, you know, super insecure. Um, 
marionette. You know, this this makes me think of like manipulation. Uh, it says dictatorship, domination, reluctance. You know, in the distant past, you know, there was somebody that couldn't be dominated. You know, they couldn't be manipulated. They couldn't be controlled. Um, and maybe somebody got bad luck and bad fortune just for trying, you know, to control somebody. Uh, recent past, aid, reverse, mercy, charity, or kindness, reverse. Conflict, difference, disputation, quarrel. So in the recent past, there could have been a fight. You know, I feel like there was somebody, there's somebody here that's like, just like uh, an unsavory character. We have high honor in reverse and we have, you know, aid, mercy, kindness in reverse. This is like somebody that's like out for self, you know, somebody that will do anything to win. They play, they fight dirty. Um, you know, somebody mean. Or this could have been, you know, more of an intention. Somebody uh, could have been, you know, manifest, like I said earlier, trying to manifest, you know, somebody being stuck in rough waters, somebody experiencing a fall from grace, somebody losing their honor, somebody, you know, not receiving any help, being totally alone and not having any help whatsoever. Um, they could have sent, like, uh, this is what I get. I get, like, isolation spells and uh, chaos magic, you know? Recent past, somebody was, like, really, like, cranking it out. And this has come out in Reeds, too. You know, they've been cranking this spell work out. You know, just bibbity bobbity boo 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 Like, just, I mean, cranking it out. Um, But, yeah, this could have been a fight. You know, a conflict um, between some people. Difference in opinion. Um, or this could have been, you know, somebody's intention, like I said before. Um... Yeah, I really feel like somebody could have been trying to manifest all of this for somebody else in the recent past. Like, this is just gross. Um, best outcome. Real estate, reverse. And origin. Initiation, creativity, vitality. I feel like, you know, somebody is going to lose something. You know, some probably, maybe something material, uh, something uh, tangible. Uh, real estate, wealth, investment, mega project. So there could be somebody losing, you know, maybe a house or maybe uh, some type of investment, some type of wealth, you know, maybe because either they lack creativity, you know, they lack, you know, the drive and determination to like get stuff done, or maybe it's blocked. Maybe, you know, their creativity is blocked, their vitality is blocked. Um, yeah, I feel like somebody's taking a loss and it's because they don't have, they, they're, they're missing something. Um, uh, uh, immediate future. Relaxation, peace, tranquility, easiness. Goal, purpose, expectation, destination. This is all you collective. Like I say, some of you could be readers. You don't have to do it on the platform. Um, you know, I feel like, you know, there's somebody, of course, you know, that there's somebody that's still going to be in karmic energy, still going to be a super hater. Um, and you, on the other hand, you know, uh, doing what you do in the upright, you know, with good intentions, um, not trapped, you know, free of a trap of some sort, maybe accomplishing a goal. I feel like this is immediate future, you know, you can look forward to like some relaxation, some tranquility, some easiness, you know, and maybe even like, you know, uh, getting, reaching a goal, reaching a destination, finding purpose, maybe, you know, walking in your purpose. A lot of you already could be walking in your purpose. Um, you've earned this. I feel like this is definitely, you know, this is immediate future. So, I mean, uh, karma is, you know, in full swing. You know, people are reaping what they, no matter, they can still whip this, you know, this, the spell work and the hocus pocus and the razzle dazzle. They can do this as much as they want. But I mean, you know, uh, we're on divine time. We're not on karmic time. We're on divine time. So, I mean, you know, when the divine or the most high says, you know, okay, it's a wrap. Yeah, it's a wrap. And I feel like, you know, that, that, that time is coming. 
in the immediate future. You know, uh, somebody's not going to have worries. That's the energy I get. Like, somebody's not going to have worries, you know, and you're actually going to be able to, like, get ahead, you know, accomplish some things without so much adversity, so much pushback. Um, factors affecting the situation. Fright. Depression, phobia, paranoid. Or par yeah, paranoid. And marriage reverse. Sweet love, couple, dependency, reverse. So I feel like somebody is, you know, somebody could be depressed, could be going through a depression, um, or somebody could be really, really afraid of losing a marriage, you know, a commitment. We had that. That's, that's yeah, that's inevitable. That's going to happen. We have hair in, re in reverse. Um, yeah, that's the final outcome. So there's going to be a marriage or a commitment or a contract or something that comes to an end or has come to an end. And maybe somebody's depressed about it. Or they could, you know, maybe this hasn't happened yet and somebody's super afraid it's going to happen. Um, yeah, it's going to happen. If this if, if this this divorce or this, you know, contract ending hasn't happened yet, it's going to happen. Because I flipped over just from like I, I wanted to know and I was really pulling like, is that going to happen? And OK. <laughs> She's like, yeah, okay. That's like, yes. So, uh, yeah. Um, hopes and fears. Gift to reverse. Uh, loss reverse. Fury reverse. Those both want to come out together. Um, somebody is definitely fearful of losing a gift. There could have been, you know... Uh, maybe a promotion or something that increased somebody's life, you know, something that added to somebody's life and maybe they're afraid of losing it or not getting it now. Um, loss in reverse. Somebody's hopeful that they don't, you know, experience a loss. Uh, bereavement, sorrow, damage. Maybe somebody's hopeful they can repair some damages they've done. Um, Fury reverse. Offense, madness, unpleasantness. I really feel like somebody, you know, this is reverse. Somebody is hopeful that, you know, maybe they're not met with fury. I mean, everything's, you know, things are coming to light. Things are being exposed. Um, somebody's hopeful. I, I really feel like somebody's hopeful that someone else is not, you know, super pissed off, you know, um, really unangry or really um, unhappy. Very unhappy, extremely unhappy. Uh, final outcome. Merit making, reverse. Goodness, humanness, morality, in reverse. Sweetheart, reverse. Pure, unconditional love and beloved, in reverse. So yeah, final outcome. There's somebody that's, you know, not a sweetheart. Probably whoever this is, mentally unstable. Um, you know, they're not pure. They're not beloved. They don't possess unconditional love. Uh, maybe this person's going to be, you know, up to their usual antics. You know, uh, merit making. This talks about, you know, uh, doing good deeds. You know, being humane, having morals, values, uh, being good. You know, so, I mean, it's more of the same. You know, there's somebody that is uh, in dark energy you know, in negative energy and apparently, you know, final outcome, they're going to stay there. Um, I mean, it is a choice, you know, like it really. And I think a lot of people don't realize that. Like I wake up every day and I choose happiness. I choose peace. I choose love and light, you know, um, it's a choice. So, I mean, then this person's making their choice. Uh, friendship reverse. This person might be without friends. I know in a lot of these cases, you know, the, the karmic energies are, uh, they're, people are walking away from them, you know, so um, I'm going to go another round with the tarot. Present moment. Two of Wands. Uh, three of Swords reversed. So somebody could be, you know, wanting to make a, wanting to make the right choice, wanting to make a better choice. Uh, somebody could be planning or strategizing something. Uh, this person could be healing. You know, uh, maybe they're planning 
to heal from some emotional emotional pain, some emotional wounds. Um, yeah, whoever this is, they made their they made a decision. We got another two, two of wands, two of swords reversed. You know, somebody has come out of maybe they were at an impasse, they were stuck. Uh, they're planning, you know, uh, maybe to get unstuck. They made a decision, made their mind up. This person's in the process of healing. Yeah. Uh, distant past. White magic. Karmic connection reverse. So in the distant past, you know, I feel like somebody could have, you know, tapped into some faith. You know, this could be you collective or this could be another energy. You know, somebody uh, released the karmic connection. You know, maybe realize that the person they were dealing with was a karmic, uh, or this person was in karmic energy. You know, um, I feel like, you know, this is somebody praying. You know, maybe praying, asking angels, asking the divine or the most high for a little bit of guidance, a little bit of help, maybe a little bit of strength to release, you know, things, places, and people that no longer serve them. Uh, recent past. King of Swords reverse chariot reverse i really feel like this is this masculine energy uh like i say either this person was trying to manifest all of this bad all of this negative for somebody else or this person is experiencing you know uh they don't they don't possess honor they're stuck in a really crappy situation they're experiencing a fall from grace could be in conflict with others um yeah uh maybe they don't have anybody to help them they have no help or like i said they could have wanted that for somebody else uh king of swords reverse this is masculine energy it could be a man or a woman uh this person is ruthless you know heartless uh cruel it can be spiteful vengeful uh they they lie uh this could be a narcissist a bully um this person doesn't have forward movement right now so, like, all of that could be pertaining to this energy, you know. Uh, they're stuck. Their, their situation is out of their control. Um, and they can't move forward right now. You know, that's the, that Six of Swords in reverse is the same, you know. They can't move forward. Um, this person could be obsessed, have some type of obsession. Maybe with uh, manifestation or negativity. <laughs> um, the best outcome... Permit reverse. Uh, seven of Wands. I feel like, you know, somebody's not, somebody's refusing to heal. They don't want to heal. Um, they're not taking time for introspection. They won't go inward. Um, or there's something undiscovered here. You know, maybe someone, maybe someone didn't know how protected you were, how protected someone was. Um, yeah, I feel like somebody could have their guards up. You know, there's somebody unhealed and then there's somebody else with their, their guards up, you know? Or this could talk about divine protection, you know? Uh, you being protected. Yeah, blocked. I feel like somebody, yeah, somebody in their energy or whatever they're sending or just them, the, you know, the actual person, they could be blocked. You know, you're protected. So some, some somebody else or some other energy is being blocked. Uh, immediate future. Strength reverse. And the fool. So in the immediate future, you know, there's somebody that, you know, could be lacking courage. You know, lacking strength. Uh, this person might not be trustworthy. They might not be loyal. Um... But they do want to take another path. They want to go a different way. They want to take a leap of faith. Clearly, because nothing else is working out for them. Uh, yeah. Somebody wants to, like, take a leap of faith. They want to go in a, a different direction. Um, factors affecting the situation. Page of Swords reverse. And King of Cups reverse. This is the nice guy reverse that we had come out in the Kipperish. Same energy. Um, yeah, I feel like this person, this is like a masculine energy. This could be your past person. You know, it's the same energy as uh, we had him come out. Yeah, there he is. Nice guy reverse, King of Cups reverse. It's the same energy. 
same energy. You know, somebody emotionally cold, emotionally closed off, emotionally unstable, um, or all three, you know. Um, I feel like this person, and this has come out in some of my past reads, you know, a really big factor in this whole situation is that this person lied on you. If this is your past person, this person lied on you. There was malicious gossip, slander. They could have been doing some spying, some stalking. I get the energy of, but there was a lot of like misinformation. This person could have, you know, really ran your name through the mud, you know, trash talked you. Uh, maybe with the intention of, you know, it becoming true. Like they, they said a lot of false things about you because they wanted to turn you upside down. They wanted you in distorted energy. Achievement reverse, they didn't get that. That didn't happen, you know, but maybe one of their tactics in doing that or attempting to do that was, you know, gossiping, slandering, trying to ruin your reputation so you'd have nobody, you know, no allies. That's what they do. They try to get you alone. And that's, you know, a lot of you went through that. I did too with those, those isolation spells. They want you by yourself. And while you're by yourself, you know, they try to ruin your reputation just to break you all the way down. But, you know, those of us who, you know, woke up, you know, we, we found the solitude, uh, well, it, they call it isolation. I call it solitude. You know, a lot of us found, I know me personally, I found faith, you know, I found God, I found self love, you know, I found my purpose, you know, I found a lot in that isolation, you know? So, um, like I say, these things, ha you know, a lot of things were allowed to happen because it was for your benefit. And, you know, I didn't really wreck I didn't, you know, I didn't see it as it was happening, I didn't understand why I had to endure so much or why. And a lot of you can relate, I know. You don't understand, like, why is all of this happening? Why is this happening to me? It was to strengthen you or to teach you. You know, Collective told me early on in my journey, like a year ago, you know, a lot of you, my day ones, you guys told me, you know, this is going to make you stronger. It, it sucks right now, but just get through, keep pushing. And, you know, that's why I love you guys, you know. I love collective to, to pieces, to the moon and back, because, I mean, you were absolutely right. Those of you who told me, you were absolutely right. Praise God. Um, hopes and fears. False person. High, high priestess reverse. Well, duh. <laughs> uh, this is like, you know, probably, probably the karmic film. Um, or a dark practitioner, you know, somebody that is gifted, spiritually gifted. They use their gifts for bad. They mislead others, take advantage. Uh, this person's a false person. Um, I feel like somebody could be fearful that they're going to be exposed as a false person, uh, which this is already happening, you know. Uh, this high priestess reverse could be worried about, you know, getting some exposure worried about losing a gift maybe they were given something on false pretenses you know they lied you know <laughs> pretended to be you know uh an empress in a lot of cases pretended to be a high priestess or i don't know uh final outcome uh -oh. secrets in the upright goodness we still on this uh yeah secrets out <laughs> seven of swords reversed yeah uh, I feel like, you know, man, yeah, all of this is coming out. This person will be exposed as a false person. Uh, whatever secrets they had, whatever they did, the lies, the cheating, uh, you know, the decept all the deception, it's, it's going to be exposed. It's coming out. You know, it is coming out. Um, this next pass, I'm going to do the uh, Kipperish one more again. Let's see what we got. Uh, present moment. Real love reverse. Uh, manifestation reverse. Uh, Ice King. Well, hey, he came out. Ice King reverse. This same energy. King of Swords reverse. Ice King reverse. Uh, currently, this masculine energy is... Um, they can't manifest. And we see in the recent past, they were trying to manifest. They were trying to do a whole lot of manifestation, but it was all negative stuff. They're trying to manifest a whole lot of bad for somebody. Uh, present, you know, present moment, this person, they can't manifest. Manifestation in reverse. They can't manifest. If they had gifts, they don't. It's, yeah, they don't right now. Um, yeah, they could have been trying to manifest uh, a true love connection back. 
this was your person at some point, uh, real love reverse. Yeah, their, their, their manifestations are not coming in. And this person is, you know, King of Swords reverse, Ice King reverse, you know, somebody cruel, somebody just mean, mean just to be mean. Uh, you know, somebody that's like truly has a cold heart. Um, yeah. Uh, the immediate challenge. Bliss. Moving on reverse. So the immediate challenge is that, you know, uh, I feel like somebody's happy. Somebody's in this energy of bliss. Could be you. Um... And somebody just refuses to let go. Like moving on in reverse. They just don't want to move on. They just refuse to like let this go. It's like, you know, in a lot of these cases, these cycles have closed. You know, for you, these cycles have closed. You know, you closed the cycle, you've moved on. Um, but you know, you're dealing with energies that are still in that karmic cycle. And they refuse to let go. They don't want to move on. You know? Um... And I get the energy of somebody, you know, or several energies that like they wanted a lot of bad for you. They wanted a lot of negative things for you. And the fact that you're happy is like fueling them. Like they just cannot let go. They're like they're literally self-destructing, you know, whether they realize or not. Yeah, all the damn magic, all the manipulation, all this manifestation that they're doing, all the chanting and shit. Like, I mean, come on. Uh, best outcome or subconscious, whichever one. Healer, Divine Masculine. So somebody's a healer. Maybe it's this healer that's protected. We have Divine Masculine in the upright. So I don't know if uh, this could be somebody new. You know, those of you where your past person was a karmic, and we, you know, you know that. You know, it's been. <laughs> Is uh you've confirmed that. Uh I don't know if this person's protecting you. Maybe you have a hermit in reverse, you haven't discovered this yet, but there could there is a masculine energy in the upright, divine masculine. This person might be protecting you, protecting a healer, or this person could be a healer. Man. Yeah, there's like somebody being blocked and then there's somebody that's, you know, either protected or protecting someone. Divine Masculine in the upright, healer in the upright. So you could be a healer. There could be a Divine Masculine that's protecting you. You could be protecting a Divine Masculine. Uh, this person could be, I don't know, coming towards you maybe. Because I don't think that these are the same person. I really don't. I don't, yeah. They're, those are not the same person. Um... Uh, immediate future conflict reverse intuition reverse so in the immediate future you know something's coming to an end there could be some type of tension some type of conflict a quarrel a dispute that's coming to an end um, Like I said, I feel like somebody wants to take like a leap of faith. They want to go a different way. But this person is in, you know, it's not like a trustworthy person. Uh, this is somebody that, you know, maybe their intuition is blocked. Maybe that's why they're like doing so much, you know, maybe their intuition is blocked. Currently. Um, yeah, self-love. We had that come out in an another deck as well. Uh, the Panther. Self-love reverse. This person, you know, it's, I feel like it's this masculine energy. I mean, it could be the film, but I kind of feel like, you know, this person wanting to take a, a leap of faith, wanting to go a different way. Uh, this is somebody, their intuition could be blocked. Maybe because they're, you know, they sit in that negative energy. They don't, they don't have self-love, unconditional love. Uh, they don't have self-esteem, maybe. Or this could be the karmic film. Mature woman reverse. I get that empress reverse energy. This could be the karmic film. Um, maybe there's a conflict coming to an end. Um... Uh, factors affecting this situation. Karmic film reverse. Commitment reverse. Yeah, I cannot make this up. We just had that commitment reverse, and there was another card here that was like marriage reverse. Right here. It was over here. Yeah, there it is. Marriage reverse. 
marriage reverse, commitment reverse. So yeah, this is definite. Remember I asked if, you know, that was uh, like going to, if, if it was a definite, you know, definitely going to happen. And I flipped over and there was okay, which I took as a yes. This is, yeah, there's a commitment coming to an end. Marriage reverse, commitment reverse, the hair font reverse. Something is over. It's really like there's a commitment, a marriage, a relationship that's done. It's, it's definitely coming to an end. Um, a karmic film, you know, is being released. You know? I mean, at the end of the day, you know, if this was a divine masculine, this is, it was never going to work. You are a karmic, respectfully. You are a karmic energy. My love, like you, <laughs> you know, you and this person, a karmic feminine, divine masculine, this is, you are not compatible. You know, a lot of them, a lot of karmic fems manage to get divine masculines in that karmic energy. You know, but you see, they, they didn't get you, did they, collective? They didn't, <laughs> they ain't turn you upside down. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, they're not, at some point, if this is a true divine masculine, at some point, you know, this, this person is supposed to wake up. You know, they're going to wake up, they're going to realize that you're a karmic, and they're going to release you. You know, this, these are, I mean, a divine anybody divine this is somebody you know something ordained by god like come on uh hopes and fears somebody in the south know just can't get right unexpected money yeah they're not gonna get the under man it was expected they was hope hope like hoping for some money uh you know some type of payday or something it's not coming why because you're in your south node you're not about to get an ace of pentacles sitting in this energy like, man, uh, final outcome. Change, yeah, it's a lot changing. Uh, gifted reverse. Man, I said it, somebody lost their gifts. Yeah, somebody's going through a lot of transition and they lost their gifts. Whoever this is, they couldn't manifest. This ice, yeah, king of swords reverse. This person was trying to manifest in the recent past, you know, but trying to manifest a bunch of bullshit. Bunch of negative stuff. Uh, present moment, their their manifestations are not coming. They can't manifest. I really feel like somebody might have lost their gifts. This is final outcome. Somebody's losing their gifts. It's over. Damn. Oh, that sucks. I mean, cause just imagine you are one of the few, you know, the the chosen, you know, that are blessed with a gift of some sort and blessed with divinity blessed with favor and you lose that you know like you forfeit that but that sucks priestess in the upright bottom of the deck yeah this is you um you know it's in the upright a lot of you are in high priestess energy you know uh this is somebody that's spiritually gifted you know highly intuitive can be psychic a medium have any one of the clairs um, you know, this somebody tapped in. You know, this collective energy. Maybe you know this intuitively. Maybe you got a download. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna do one more round. One more go with the uh, the tarot before I close it out. Uh, present moment. We got going on there. Present moment. Present moment. Five of Wands reverse. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, there's a con yeah conflict in reverse. This is uh, another karmic fem energy. This person could be, you know, superficial, materialistic, overly concerned with money. Uh, this could be the same energy. This the karmic fem empress reverse. Um, I think it is. Uh, whatever competition, whatever conflict, you know, currently, this is coming to a close. You know, maybe somebody is, you know, finally putting their swords down. Um, I don't know. Seven of Cups. Um, the immediate challenge. Legal issues. Yeah, I feel like maybe this, you know, whatever conflict or, you know, competition that was they had going on, you know, with the collector, uh, it's over. It's ending maybe because somebody's in legal trouble. You know, uh, some, of the, some of the things they did that were highly illegal have been exposed, maybe. Uh, somebody's in trouble. Like, yeah. This is the immediate challenge. Legal issues for somebody, you know, that had some did some wrongdoing. And, you know, somebody else's innocence. 
you know, collective, a lot of you, well, well, just about all of you, you know, you were innocent in this situation. You know, you had people come against you for literally no, I mean, like, out of greed. It's either, you know, just a person or energy just solely sitting in like evil hatred, that negative energy, devil energy, or, you know, it was about money. It came after you for, you know, the, the hopes of riches, fame and fortune, you know, whatever delusions they were sold by the enemy. And now, like, you know, this could be spiritual court. I feel like this is like, in a lot of cases, this could be like something like here in the 3D. Like somebody is in trouble. You know, uh, they've incriminated themselves. Um, distant past. Three of Wands. Divine Guidance Reverse. I feel like in the distant past, you know, like I said, there was somebody that was praying. You know, somebody was praying, you know, reaching out to the divine, reaching out to their angels and ancestors. Uh, and then they were waiting for something. I feel like either this person didn't get the message or they got it, you know, divine guidance. They got some type of guidance that they were praying for and maybe they didn't listen to it. They didn't heed the warnings or they, they didn't listen to the guidance they were given. Um, maybe because this person was a hidden enemy. You know, divine could have told them, you know, uh, you need to do this. You need to do that. You know, get on the good foot. And, you know, this person refused to do it because they were working against you. They were a hidden enemy. This is distant past. So, yeah. And then recent past. Yeah. They didn't listen to the divine guidance. They decided to continue manifesting, you know, your downfall, uh, you not having any type of help, you losing your honor, you being stuck, you being in conflict with people like you not having forward movement. Yeah, they didn't listen to the guys. This is somebody who probably got a clear message. You prayed, you reached out to the divine, the most high, and they probably did give you, this person a message. This person did not heed the warnings. They didn't want to listen. And that's why they're losing their gifts. Man, recent past, ascension, five of pentacles. So I feel like this is like, you know, Either, you know, this person could want to ascend after doing, you know, everything that they've done. You know, they could want to ascend uh, or this could be you, you know, collective energy. While you're ascending, you know, in the recent past, you began to ascend or you were, you know, well into your ascension. And I feel like somebody else is was left out. Out in the, uh, out in the cold, you know, uh, maybe having financial difficulty, um, you know, struggling having some uh you know just some some issues you know uh in sitting in an energy of lack you know while somebody else was ascending um best outcome or subconscious uh emperor reverse ten of cups what is this about so we have an emperor reverse. This is like a tyrant, somebody that refuses to take the lead, uh, somebody that abuses their power. This could be a father, a boss. This could be somebody's father. And I feel like this Ten of Cups came out to let me know that, that it's family. This could be somebody's father, a father figure. What's, I gotta pull some more. What's up with the emperor? Um, maybe this person is, you know, not celebrating currently. Um, this person could be in a group of corrupt individuals, or well, this person could have been in cahoots with a group of corrupt individuals. Uh, what else? Six of Wands. I feel like this emperor reverse, this could be your DM. This could be a DM, a father figure, or a boss. Uh, but this is like, uh, you know, distorted energy, karmic energy. This person could have like worked with a group or been a part of a group, a collaboration of some sort, uh, maybe to get, you know, some type of uh, accolades, recognition, success, victory. I'm gonna pull one more, cause I'm like, 
Yeah, somebody closed the cycle. So I don't know if like, you know, this was like, you know, an emperor reverse and a, you know, a group of, you know, low vibrational energies, you know, a cult, a coven or something. I feel like, you know, maybe they were trying to get success. Maybe they didn't get it. I feel like somebody did though, or somebody will best, this is best outcome or subconscious. Uh, you know, yeah, somebody, this is you collective, you know, a lot of you have already closed the cycle. You know, there's a cycle that was closed successfully, and that's what this talks about, success. Somebody closed the cycle successfully. Uh, this can talk about uh, winning. It can talk about, you know, um, attention, you know, uh, the spotlight, um, star, you know, like star energy. Um, yeah. Uh, media future. Temperance. Ten of Pentacles. This flew out over there reverse. So maybe uh, in the immediate future, somebody is, uh, you know, a conflict in somebody wants to get balance. You know, they could start getting balanced or maybe, you know, th this could talk about angelic presence, you know. Um, Maybe somebody decides to get balance after taking a really big loss. You know, uh, Ten of Pentacles reverse. This is like the loss of generational wealth, the loss of a windfall. Um, we had the actual money card come out. That's what I'm saying. This could have been, you know, somebody could be taking like a serious loss. I mean, this is an upright meaning. It's, it's going to somebody. But, you know, in the immediate future, somebody's taking a loss. There's somebody else that wants to take a new path. Um, they're going to have to get balance. They're going to have to get balance. And have to find some strength, muster, you know, muster up some faith or something. I don't know. Um, what is that about? Let me get a picture of this two of pentacles. What is that? Reverse, 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 reverse. Yeah, it's bad karma. I was asking, I'm trying to like figure out where, what's up with this ten of pentacles. Why is this? Why are they taking this loss? What is this about? It's bad karma. They made a bad investment. You know, wherever they planted their seeds and whatever they invested in, um, it was a bad investment. This is uh, bad karma. Somebody's reaping what they sow, what they've sown. So, you know, uh, basically, you know, somebody, they wanted this for you. They could have wanted this for you. I mean, amidst all this other negative shit that they were trying to manifest in your life, you know, they could have wanted, you know, financial ruin for you. And now in the immediate future, this is becoming someone's reality. And this is karma. That sucks, man. Uh, uh, the uh, factors affecting this situation. Justice in reverse. Five of cups reverse. What's that? Emotional manipulator reverse. So, yeah, you know, this, somebody got released. This karmic film got released for sure. This person could have been an emotional manipulator. Um, you know, they did a lot of things that were unfair, unjust, uh, just not right. And the, with this five of cups in reverse, I get the energy of somebody who doesn't like feel bad. Like they don't have, they're not, they don't have regret. Like they don't feel bad for what they did. They don't feel bad for being an emotional manipulator. They don't feel bad for, you know, uh, being unfair. Hopes and fears. Tower. Ace of Pentacles reverse. Somebody's definitely fearful of another tower moment. I feel like these are energies that have already experienced like several tower moments, but you know, they're literally, they're going to reap everything that they've sown. So I feel like there's, you know, there's more to come. Um, and it all has to do with abundance. Like collect, <laughs> look at that. Like it all has to do with the loss of abundance. That's how you know these people were all about the money. Unexpected money reverse. Ace of Pentacles reverse. Seven of Pentacles reverse. Ten of Pentacles reverse. All of these Pentacles reverse. Poverty. Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. So if they're getting this, that means they wanted somebody else. You know, the karma is, you know, whatever they value most, they lose. But they wanted this for somebody else. They wanted financial ruin. This is like all, this is like, 
This is financial ruin. This is poverty. This is like homelessness. This is like struggle. All of these pinnacles in reverse. This is crazy. Gosh, that is such, ooh. And it's bad karma. They brought, they're reaping what they've sown. These people could have slowed your money down. They could have call, uh, maybe caused you to lose money. Maybe they stole money from you. Man, they're about to experience another tower. Whatever they, whatever pinnacle they got left, it's, yeah. Man, this just sucks. It sucks. I mean, like I said, they brought this on themselves, but I wouldn't wish this on anybody. Like, you know, who, where do these people come from? <laughs> like, uh, final outcome. Oh, my goodness. This is why, yeah, there is, there, it's a lost cause. The most high in reverse. Obsessed. You know, somebody is just, you know, and, uh, you know, I'm learning this myself, collective. You know, not everybody can be saved. Not everyone can be saved. You know, not all of some. Some people are just too far gone. And we're definitely dealing with the energy here that might be too far gone. I don't know if this is the karmic femme or the masculine, or it could be both. I know that this masculine energy has been like the main energy in this read. And he's come out as the Nice Guy Reverse, King of Cups Reverse, King of Swords Reverse, Ice King Reverse, you know, all Reverse, uh, or the Emperor Reverse, you know, every masculine energy here is in Reverse. Um, but, you know, these people are losing gifts. They're experiencing, you know, changes, you know, transitions, you know, um, but they're still in that energy, still obsessed. You know, and this might not even be them. A lot of times when this comes out reverse, I do get like an energy of in entity attachment. And in my last read or the one before, that was the case. Somebody has like a dark energy attached to them. And I feel like the energy is taken over. You know, they've used this thing, this energy to like, you know, manipulate so much shit, you know, constantly relying on it, constantly sitting in that energy that this person, you know, the energy is taken over. So whatever gift, you know, you can't have divine gifts in, you know, sit in this type of energy, you know? They've lost their gifts. They're losing a lot of money. <sighs> Bottom of the deck, we got 10 of wands. You know, just tremendous burden. A lot of obligations, a lot of responsibilities. You know, uh, no help, no aid. Like, this is just struggle, strife, difficulty. Man. Somebody could be losing a job. Nine of Pentacles reverse. They already they lost a relationship, a love, a love partnership, two of cups reverse. Could have been a soulmate connection. Because they were reckless and careless. You know, they took impulsive action without thinking. This was a reckless decision. Maybe to make a love offer somewhere. King of Wands reverse. Another masculine energy in reverse. Vampire reverse. Uh, this person was in an illusion. We had that energy. This person was in an illusion. They were not seeing things currently. It could have been, you know, Eveline, Wanda, uh, Sabrina, Clementine, Nutmeg, Cinnamon, you know, whichever one of them at the witch, the, the witch shack, <laughs> you know, but yeah, they really like, they scrambled this person's brain like eggs, you know, had this person, you know, uh, all sorts of messed up. And this person now, you know, now the truth is out. Full truth and clarity. Uh, somebody's using their intuition. Intuitive care of an upright. Uh, you know, realizing that they have to release something. They have to let go of something or someone. Um, wanting to come out of a rejection. Out of an energy of rejection. Or if this person rejected your cup in the past. Oh yeah, trust and believe. They want that cup back. Uh, King of Pentacles reverse. Another masculine energy reverse. This is all the same person. For most of you, you know, but this, they just like, I mean, every single one is reverse. This is somebody, you know, materialistic, superficial, overly concerned with money. You know? Yeah, and they didn't give to you. Past, past person, past situation. They didn't give, there was, there was no equal give and take. In a certain situation, but somebody refused to walk away, you know? Eight of Cups reverse, or this could represent somebody that walked away from you. You know, they threw up the deuces, walked away from you. Now they want to come back and they're pursuing you passionately. They've made their mind up about this, you know, <laughs> but yeah, they're facing karma. Black magic reverse. They are seven of Pentacles. Reverse. They are facing bad karma. All that bullshit that they were trying to manifest, you know, it's going back. It is going right back. 
Yeah, this person was an opportunist in trash bag energy. Now they're unhappy, you know, facing a time of stagnancy, no growth, no expansion, you know, um, They want that they want that contract back. They want a lover's contract, lovers in the upright. They want to make the right choice in love. They want to balance their finances or maybe bring balance to a financial situation. Maybe they owe you money. Uh page of cups reverse. This could talk about uh, you know, a message of sentiment, but like negative sentiment, or it could be like a message being rejected, a message not sent. This person might need to apologize, and maybe they haven't. You know, they might need to send a message, you know, saying, I'm sorry. You know what? I I, I, I did, you know, A, B, and C, and I'm, I really apologize. You know, I was in a, a really fucked up headspace. I was, you know, not seeing things clearly. I'm really sorry. But in reverse, you know, that that's like a message unsent. This can also talk about a lack of forgiveness. You know, a lot of you are healing, you know, and take your time. You know, it's not a race, uh, you know, take your time, but a lot of you might be unforgiving. You know, this person wants to come in and balance things out. They want this contract now, you know, now that they're in a, the middle of a shit storm, taking major losses, but you know, a lot of you, maybe you haven't forgiven yet, you know, because maybe this person didn't, uh, this can also talk about a lack of remorse. Maybe this person doesn't feel bad. I don't know. Uh, but, you know, followed by Eight of Pentacles, they either invested, they made a big investment in the wrong thing, or this is somebody that, you know, refuses to, like, work on themselves. They refuse to, you know, be a better person, to learn from past mistakes, you know, to close karmic cycles. Uh, lustful reverse. This person is in, like, super lustful energy. King of Wands reverse. Yeah, that's super lustful. Uh, up in the clouds, you know, somebody is oblivious to something. Or they were, you know, oblivious to who their divine partner was. Oblivious to some toxic toxicity that they were carrying. And we have the Queen of Cups reverse. Queen of Wands reverse. The Hangman reverse. This could be two karmic feminine energies. That's not what I feel. I feel like one of these is supposed to be in the upright. Why did it? Have you guys noticed that my last few reads, the Queen of Cups keeps coming out in the reverse? And that's not the energy I get. I mean, could be, could be not, but this would be like two feminine energies. The Queen of Cups, I really feel like this should be in the upright. You know, somebody is enlightened to, you know, who is the Queen of Wands in reverse? So who people are. Queen of Wands in reverse, a lustful, witchy, feminine energy. Queen of Cups, you know, this is, you know, Queen of Cups is everything for me. You know, this is, <laughs> this is an incredible woman. This is a phenomenal woman, you know, uh, or a man. Uh, this is a great person. And I feel like somebody's woke now. I'm like, oh, oh, shit. Uh, this person could have, yeah, they were a hidden enemy. You know, throwing rocks and hiding their hands, you know. Telling you, you know, texting you or calling you or telling you to your face, you know, they love you. Oh, you're the one. It's always been you. And yeah, they were right. It's always been you. But this was somebody that was too stupid to see it. They were working against you. Now they're delayed. Wanting to make a solid offer to a star energy. You could be out in the public eye. You could just shine bright. You know, you got the divine glow. Could be a star seed. You know, but maybe they want to make a solid offer. Uh, this is their wish fulfillment. Uh, but they, you know, they're going to receive bad news. Maybe they might receive bad news. Something coming in quick. Yeah. Page of Pentacles reverse. This is either more financial bad news or, uh, an offer being rejected. Yeah. Ace of Cups reverse. You know, there's no new passionate beginning and romance, you know? Uh, yeah. Cause a lot of y'all are in Queen of Swords energy, you know? Which you had to be. This person played too much. These people play too many games. All this manipulation. All of this, you know, bibbity bobbity boo. You know, like seriously, these are like, you know, the, what are they, like the <laughs> Hogwarts rejects, like, you know, they got expelled, so now, <laughs> yeah, but you know, a lot of you are in Queen of Swords energy, you're not taking the bullshit, you know that this person is deceptive, and they're under judgment, they're facing judgment right now, yeah, that's the whole deck. Uh, I'm going to close this reading. I'm going to get you guys an oracle and close this. I know this one's running a little bit long. 
Uh, those of you who like the lengthy reads, here you go, boo. Uh, <laughs> those of you who don't, I'm so sorry. I'm sure you skip. You probably didn't make it to this point if you don't like the lengthy ones. Um, I'm pulling from Journey of Love. Give us a good one, Spirit. Give us a good one, Spirit. Earth Angel. Baby, what's up, boo? <laughs> Earth Angel. So fitting. All right. Mm, let me grab my glasses. Grab my glasses because I am legally blind. I cannot see. Mm. All right. Earth Angel. Okay, I want to read everything here. There's like a poem. It opens with like this little poem here. Earth Angel, you carry the world in your robes and heaven in your hair. You bring me a special gift now, responding to my prayer. Though sometimes I may feel that I'm struggling or alone, you come to me now and carry me into my heart. You bring me home. Even from the darkest depths, I rise up to meet your light. I cannot be separated from the divine. I cannot be separated from the light. Amen. Um, this oracle brings a message of divine guidance. You have an angel with you, watching over you and assisting you in response to your heart's call for help, love and protection for you and your beloveds. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Keep praying each day from your heart and know that you are safely carried on the journey of love. If you've been worrying about, if you've been worrying about a loved one, know that this protection extends to them as well. You are asked to pray more and worry less, allowing love to be. Thank you for walking with me. Before you climbed up here, I was afraid. I had risked everything by holding out my hand, and now, as I share your joy and excitement at being a friend, I realize I may have run to catch up with you. I may have to run. I may have to run to catch up with you. I realize I may have to run to catch up with you. Yeah, if that's what we're talking about, past person, yeah. Man, you better walk fast or something. I don't know. <laughs> you, got to, <laughs> you have to run. Yeah. Uh, Earth Angel. So pretty much, I mean, if you guys have been praying and, you know, maybe you're worried. You've been worried about yourself, worried about, you know, concerned with, uh, you know, your beloveds, your loved ones. Uh, you know, you are the collective, divinely guided, divinely protected. You know, a lot of you carry earth angel energy. And, you know, this pretty much said you got, you know, you have angels with you, you know. Um, definitely pray more, you know, do those affirmations. Um you know, after you say you say something enough, you know, enough times, you actually, you, I mean, if you don't believe it, you'll start to believe it. You know, you'll start to feel it. And then before you know it, it's reality. You know, it's how some people manifest. But yeah, I'm going to close this reading here. I hope this helps. I hope there was some confirmation. Um, I hope there was, you know, uh, maybe this filled you in. Um, it's the same energy, you know, we're just, just you know, getting... It's just progressing, you know, all in divine time, you know. Uh, I feel like, you know, there's a lot of great things coming, you know. With all of this, you know, karma being served, you know, there's going to be a lot of dharma served as well. You know, you guys have a lot of good things coming towards you. Uh, just stay, stand in your faith, stand in your power. You know, remember who you are. You know, it's been a long road for a lot of us. And, uh, you know, like I said, we've learned a lot. Just got to keep pushing. Keep pushing, you know? Like Collective told me a long time ago, just keep pushing, keep swimming. It's only going to make you better, only going to make you stronger. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me. I love you. Love you all to the moon and back. Um, as always, I'm Kev, Intuitive Kev, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.